Hello YouTube. Film Buffo 6 here. Uh, just before I start, I'm going to do, um, I thought I could do a quickie shout out to a new subscriber, Mike Roch. Uh, hope you're, hope you're okay with this little shout out, mate. Um, if, if so, you're welcome. But, but I, but you can tell, but you can probably tell from this grinchy and pissed off look on my face that I am going to do a review slash super rant on the, the second piece of Yuletide dog shit Christmas movie with Vince Vaughn titled Four Christmases which was released in 2008 and was directed by this guy called Seth Gordon who, who went on after this film to direct Horrible Bosses and, and The Identity Thief. And how is it possible, just how is it possible, Mr. Vince Vaughn, to make another Christmas movie that's much worse than the last Christmas film you starred in the previous year. How is that even possible? <sighs> the story of this film is that of this of this fucking film is that you get is that you have Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon playing this young couple who constantly lie to their parents that they are going to, um, that they're going to go to, like, um, to go to, like, Africa or something for, like, humanitarian purposes or something like that. But they're, but in actual fact, they're going, they're vacationing to Fuji to try and get away from their their divorced parents on Christmas Day. They just do not want to spend uh, Christmas time with. They do not want to spend any minute of Christmas time with their divorced parents whatsoever. Um, one but except. Except one Christmas day, their flight gets cancelled, they end up on the news, and then, um, they end up on the news, so, and then, uh, and then what happens is, a court, is paraphrasing Vince Vaughn in this film, they just, ha they just have to get through, or they have to visit, all four of their divorced parents in all four homes to spend four Christmases as quickly and as painlessly as possible. That, that, that sums up the plot of this fucking movie. Now, Fred Claus was a bad movie. We all know this. But at least it but at least that film knew what kind of film it was tr it was at least trying to be. This film on the other hand didn't know what it wanted to be. It was it was honestly all over the place. It was honestly all over the place. It might have a, a three act, a traditional three act story structure or what's left of it, 
but it, it, but at the end of the day, it's just a slew, like a cesspool from hell, of um, of juvenile childish jokes, stereotypical, uh, cliched characters, a predictable romantic comedy ending that we've seen a billion times that we've seen a billion times before and are getting really sick of and just and and a and a hugely talented cast being totally wasted in the in in one movie now now I've I've already said my bit about Vince Vaughn in my previous review. I'm I'm not going to go there again. Um, but um, Reese Witherspoon, she seems to follow the same um, the same route as um, as Halle Berry of you know of you know you win the Oscar and after winning the Oscar. It's nothing but shitsville from there, you know. And in this instance, Witherspoon completely drags her talent through the mud. Um, and and along for the ride, and also along for the ride, you get you get hugely talented people like. Mary Steenburgen, or Steenburgen, however you want to pronounce her name, uh, Kristen Chenoweth, who I think was in the car, who I think was in Bridesmaids, I may be totally wrong there, um, John Favreau, who of course direct, who of course we know, who who also starred, co-starred alongside Vaughn in Couples Retreat the following year, as well as, as well as directed Elf and the first two Iron Man films, uh, Sissy Spacek, Robert Duvall, um, John Voight, uh, Peter Billingsley, who American audiences might know, played um, young Ralphie in A Christmas Story, um, and, um, and people like that. Um, I'm just speechless, to be honest. Just words cannot describe just how much this film sucks really just this I mean there are the 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 four writers there um the screenplay is written by four people and I'm not kidding four fucking people wrote this movie in such a lame lazy horrible and just piss poor way and piss poor way Seth Gordon's direction is is more blander is in is unbelievably more blander than David Dobkins for Fred Claus the characters each of the char these characters from the instant that you, from the instant that they are on screen, you do not, you do, you don't find yourself caring for. The acting is out of this world atrocious. The jokes are just horrible. They they seem like they've, they seem like. They seem like jokes that have been recycled from from like Happy Madison productions. And at one point and at one point I thought Adam Sandler secretly sabotaged this project. 
Um, maybe he did. Maybe he did, but that's a but that's a speculative theory. Um, uh, what else? But what else? This movie is only eighty eight minutes long, and 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 even for a film at such a short length, it is excruciatingly boring. Um, I'm speechless. I mean, this is, this is what, I mean, this is, this, this just has to be one of the worst Christmas movies that I've ever seen in my life. It is, is, is even a movie, this is, this is not just one of the worst Christmas themed movies I've ever seen in my life. This is just some, this is a movie that the devil himself made, that Satan made himself to, um, to, to force us to suffer through this, um, this crap. And, um, Satan, I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy, because this was a complete waste of my time and money, even though I didn't, even though I didn't see this at the cinemas, luckily. Um, um, I mean, again, not only is this one of the worst Christmas movies I've ever seen in my life, um, in my life, yes, it is, it is worse than Fred Claus. It's worse than Deck the Halls. It's worse than Jack Frost. You know, Snow Dad m means meets No Dad, something like that. It's worse than Jingle All the Way. It's it's worse even than the Santa Claus. And wow, my. If I were to give this film any rating whatsoever, I would have to give this one just an, obvi an obvious zero out of ten. And here are a few fuck yous I'm going to give. My first fuck you is going to go to Vince Vaughn himself, obviously. My second fuck you is going to go to the um, the four writers who wrote this this tosh of a script. My third fuck you is going to go to to Seth Gordon for being such an even more blander director than David Dobkin. My my and my and finally my fourth fuck you is of course to this damn movie. <sighs> now feel free to comment below and let me know what you what you think of of four Christmases. Did you hate this movie as much as I did? Plus, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and until my next video, which is going to be a review of George, George, George of the Jungle, watch out for that tree, which, which will not be uploaded until um, tomorrow afternoon. Do take care, everyone. And Merry Christmas.